family. Ngayon po ay andito tayo para magpuri at magpasalamat sa ating Panginoong Diyos na buhay. Bago tayo hahayo, tayo ay manalangin. Panginoon, maraming salamat sa umagang ito na kung saan andito kami. Walang laman na iba ang aming puso at kaisipan kundi Panginoon. Kayo ang laman ng aming mga puso. Kaya Panginoon, sa aming pagpupuri, sa aming pagpapasalamat, Ikaw, Panginoon Diyos, ang magbalik sa amin ng mga pagpapalag ito, Panginoon Ugat. Panginoon, lahat Panginoon Diyos na andi dito o nasa online ay pagpalain mo rin. At ingatan mo kami, Panginoon Diyos, lalong-lalo sa mga COVID na ito, Panginoon Ugat. Panginoon, itinataas din namin ang aming iglesia na kung saan sama-sama kami, Panginoon Diyos, bawat membro, ang panalangin namin ay andi dito para Panginoon Diyos makasama namin lahat, Panginoon Diyos, na walang gagawin kundi magpuri at magpasalamat sa inyo. Maraming salamat, Panginoon. At ito ang aming panalangin sa pangalan ng aming Panginoong Yesus na buhay. Puri natin ang Panginoon. Itahan po namin kayo sa nalalapit po nating anibersaryo. Uh, ito po yung series at ang Men's Fellowship po ay nag-iimbita po sa lahat. Nakapin po yung unang magpapresent ng Uh, aming po mga inihandang uh, kanta sa inyo at iniimbatahin din po namin lahat ng mga kalalakihan sa men's ministry tuwing Wednesday sa amin Zoom meeting na kayo, kayo po yung inimbitahan namin makijoin po sa amin kasama-sama po tayo mag-aral ng Amen. Biblia at patuloy na ngayong umagang ito ay ano namin po sa iyo uh, binabalik po namin sa iyo yung lahat ang pinakamataas na kapuloy. Ang selebrasyon natin ay isang buwan, mag-uumpisa June 13, na kung saan sunod-sunod ho yun. Kaya ang panalangin namin ay bawat isa ay makabahagi dito sa apat na linggo. Kaya, kaya makipag-ugnayan tayo sa church para makita tayo na andun yung suporta natin sa anniversary natin sa July 11. Ipanalangin din natin na mayroon katagumpayan ang anniversary natin. Puri ng Panginoon at tayo ay magpasalamat. Amen. Amen. Amen.
all my days. All my days. All my days. Proclaim that Jesus reigns. Hail, hail, Lion of Judah. How wonderful you are. Hail, hail, Lion of Judah. How wonderful you are. Hello everyone, this is Brother Bong. We are celebrating our men's fellowship today. Uh, Kinagagala ko po kayo ngayong, uh, ngayong uh, araw na ito. Tayo'y manalangin. Purihin natin ang ating Panginoon. Sambahin natin siya. Hallelujah. Lord, maraming salamat Panginoon. Uh, dinadalangin ko Panginoon. Tinataas ko lahat ng mga kalalakihan, mga tatay, mga kuya, mga mga bunso, Panginoon, mga kabataan, Panginoon. Lord, dalangin ko, Panginoon, sa, sa araw na to Panginoon, ay pagpalain mo, O Diyos, ang bawat ama, kuya, uh, kapatid na lalaki, Panginoon. Lord, we pray, Panginoon, bless them. Lalong-lalo na, Panginoon, mga, mga kumikilos, Panginoon, sa simbahan, sa men's fellowship, sa uh, youth fellowship, Panginoon. At sa mga couples fellowship, mga kalalakihan, Panginoon, Lord, we pray, bless them. Lord, we bless mo, Panginoon, ang bawat online, ang bawat uh, uh, organization, Panginoon, o mga grupo, Panginoon, Lord, pagpalain mo, Panginoon. At makapag-reach pa po sila, Panginoon, ng mga uh, kalalakihan, Panginoon, lalong-lalo na ang mga membro, Panginoon, at mga kaibigan nila, Panginoon, ma-reach nila, O Diyos. Pagpalain mo, Panginoon ang selebrasyong ito sa araw na to At binabalik namin lahat ang pagpapala sa pangalan ng Ama, ng Anak, ng Espiritu Santo. Purihin ka, O Diyos Ama, sambay yung dakilang pangalan. O Diyos, nagpapasalamat kami sa araw na ito na yung pinagkalob sa aming buhay. Karapat dapat kang purihin at sambahin, Panginoon. Tunay nga po na dakila ka, ikaw ang Diyos na hindi nagbabago noon, ngayon at magpakailanman. Kaya dalangin namin, O Diyos, patuloy kang kumilo sa aming buhay at sa umagang ito, mangusap po kayo sa amin. Patuloy na palakasin niyo ang aming pananampalataya, Panginoon. Patuloy na turuan na sumunod sa iyo, Panginoon. Maraming maraming salamat. Ikaw po may tataas sa aming mga buhay sa pangalan ng aming Painong Yesus. Amen at Amen. Giving it all away, away. Giving it all away. away. Giving it all away, away. Giving it all away. away. And the Father. There is freedom 
There is hope in your name that is Jesus Lay your life down, give it all now We are found in the love of a Savior We've come alive in you Set free to show the truth Everything that we are for your glory Take our hearts now, have it all now Let our life shine your light like the morning We've come alive in you Set free to show the truth Our lives will never be the same Sing. Worthy of all the praise 
Purihin po ang Panginoon sa araw na ito at patuloy nating pasalamatan ang Diyos na pinaglagakan ng ating tiwala at pag, uh, pananampalataya na kung saan ang Diyos po ay hindi nakalilimot sa kanyang mga salita na tayo handa niyang sakluluhan at handa niya tayong tulungan sa panahon ng ating mga pangangailangan. Sa ating pong mga kaloob na ibibigay sa umagang ito ay hayaan po natin na tayo patuloy na humingi ng kanyang basbas ng pagpapala sapagkat po ang Diyos natin ay laging naandiyan upang tayo ay kalingarin. Pagpalain po natin ang Panginoon sa mga kaloob na ibibigay po natin sa umagang ito. 
Magandang umaga po mga kapatiran. Muli po natakot tayo sa panahon kung saan tayo ay magbibigay sa Panginoon. Good morning LE. Good morning everyone. This is your brother in Christ, Ed Villesa. Mula sa ikalawang korinto, kabanata siyam, mula talata anim hanggang siyam. Ito po ang sinasabi. Tandaan ninyo ito. Ang nagtatanim ng kakaunti ay aani ng kakaunti. At ang nagtatanim naman ng marami ay aani ng marami. Ang bawat isa ay dapat magbigay ayon sa kanyang sariling pasya. Maluwag sa loob at di napipilitan lamang. Sapagkat iniibig ng Diyos ang kusang nagbibigay ng may kagalakan. Magagawa ng Diyos na pasaganain kayo sa lahat ng bagay at higit pa sa inyong pangangailangan upang may magamit kayo sa pagkakawang gawa. Tulad ng nasa sulat, siya ay nagbibigay ng libre sa mga dukha. Ang kanyang katwiran ay walang hanggan. In this passage of the scripture, three things we should remember in giving. One, give generously, means showing a readiness to give more to our God. Two, give wholeheartedly with complete sincerity and commitment. Three, give with a cheerful heart, happy, with right spirit, and enthusiastic. For our God is able to bless us abundantly, and He will provide everything we need at all times. Be a faithful giver, for our God is faithful to His promise to bless us. Diyos ang mga makapangyarihan sa lahat. Muli po kami ay nagpapasalamat sa iyo sa umagang ito. Kinikilala namin o Diyos na ikaw ang dakilang Diyos. Ikaw Panginoon ang nagkakaloob ng lahat ng pangangailangan namin at gawin din po ng iba. Maraming salamat po sapagkat pinagkakalooban niyo kami ng pagkakataon, ng pribilehyo na kami po ay makatulong sa iba. Katulad na po ng matagal ng ginagawa ng iglesyang ito kung saan na tumutulong sa mga kapatiran, sa mga tao, sa mga nangangailangan, sa community. Kaya o Diyos kami po ay nagtitiwala sa inyo at muli po kami nagkakaloob ng aming mga um, offerings upang maibahagi po sa iba at maitulong po sa mga pangangailangan ng mga tao at kayo din sa mga pangangailangan ng ating iglesia. Talangin po namin na pagpalain mo ang bawat isa sa mga kaloob na ipinigay nila at patuloy na magamit sa kalalago ng iyong kaharian at ng iyong mabuting balita. O Diyos, nalangin namin na pagpalain niyo po ang bawat isa. Lord, we thank you for your faithfulness. Thank you that we can always trust in you. You are abundant God, and out of your great mercy, you have given us so much. We give you this offering today. With it, we worship you and give our whole selves to you. Please now take it and use it for your kingdom and your glory. Extend and multiple its reach and influence, we pray. May it be a great blessing to many. We ask all this in the powerful name of Jesus. Salamat aming Diyos na ikaw ang Diyos na laging nakakakita ng puso ng mga nagsisipagbigay sapagkat ito ay pagbabalik pa sa salamat Panginoon at bilang tugon o Diyos na kami pinagpala mo, hayaan po ninyo ang mga bahaging ito na aming ibibigay ay patuloy na makapagbigay ng karangalan at pagdakila sa iyong pangalan. Pinapasalamatan namin ikaw Panginoon sa pangalan ni Jesus. Amen at Amen. I see friends shaking hands, saying 
Good day, LE, and for everyone watching our live stream today, my name is Reverend Yanti Sagire, and we are really blessed to have you join our live stream today. Before we go to the message, I am excited to announce that the different ministries are now busy preparing for LE's 56th one-month anniversary celebration culminating on July 11th. And actually, this is the start of the celebration. Patikim lang po ito. And so, the church theme this year is going to be coming out victorious. And so, the culmination is on July 11th, 9 a.m. That's a Sunday. So, make it a point to join us, please! No? Ang tema po ng ating anniversaryo ay coming up victorious. And because of the times that every one of us have been experiencing at the moment, our church came out with the theme last year, coming out stronger. Based on 1 Peter chapter 5, verse 10. Let me read that to you. Sasariwain natin muli yung tema po natin last year. And the God of all grace, who called you to His eternal glory in Christ, after you have suffered a little while, will Himself restore you and make you strong, firm, and steadfast. For a year, we have been saying that something good can come out of our suffering. And that has been true. Many of our members went through difficult time, difficulty during the COVID pandemic, and now we're about to come out out of it but we have stood by God's promise that he himself will restore us he made that promise that he will make you and me stronger papalakasin po tayo he will make you fear pagtitibayin po tayo magiging matibay ka at marami po sa atin ay naging matibay na and you know the text also tells us that he will make us steadfast matatag sa kabila po ng mga pinagtadaanan natin yung magsusurvive at nagtiwala sa Panginoon ay magiging matatag hindi po natagtag matatag this is possible dahil po ang Diyos po natin ay Diyos po ng biyaya maliwanag po yung sinabi po dun sa talata and the God of grace despite the fact that we were fearful despite the the fact that we were afraid and sometimes we complain and sometimes our hearts wandered away from God because God is a God of grace. You know what? He will still be faithful when sometimes we are not faithful. And so he's going, He has made us, our church and your families and you yourself has become strong, became firm and steadfast. And so, we do, we do not just want to just dwell on overcoming and becoming stronger from our trials, yung mga pagsubok po natin. Gusto rin natin mapag-usapan ang tagumpay. So this year, you were setting it up that we need to talk about victory. We need to start confessing victories in our life, victory in our families, victory in our business, victory in the church, and victory spiritually. At kung wala namang nangyayari o bunga no? sa paghihirap natin, pinag-uusapan natin yung hirap, 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 pero wala pong nangyayari, no? eh katulad po nung nag-diet ka, hindi ka naman pumayat, no? nagtatrabaho ka, trabaho ka ng trabaho, maaga ka sa trabaho, pero hindi ka naman napupromote. No, you, you know, we can talk about positive things like nagtanim ka, wala namang bunga, no? nagsikap ka, pero wala namang paglago sa spiritual life mo. 
Alam po ninyo, we can talk about victory, but if there is no fruit, no, asa tayo ng asap na sa kabila ng hirat at paghihintay po natin, wala tayong nakikitang bunga, hindi po tagumpay po yun. No? We want to come out stronger, but we also want to come out victorious. We want to see the fruits. Nagdayat ka, pumayat ka, may bunga. Ikaw ay nagtrabaho, na promote ka, may bunga. No? Ikaw ay nagpagal sa iyong spiritual na buhay at ikaw ay lumago, may bunga. We do not just want to be stronger, we want to be fruitful. And so today, we're going to look at being connected. In Matthew chapter 23 to 36 to 40, the Bible teaches us that our connections determines our fruitfulness. No? Our connection with God and our connection with people is very important in order for us to be fruitful. So important that we are connected with God. A strong connection with God. Di ba yung mga cellphone, pag walang connection, nakakasar tayo. Hindi lamang po importante na malakas ang connection po natin sa Diyos. Pero importante rin po para tayo ay magbunga in order for us to be fruitful. It's not just our connection with God that is important. So important that we dwell also and focus on our connection with other people. Hindi po tayo pwedeng pahalagahan lang ang isa, no, yung connection natin sa Diyos, at kalilimutan po natin yung connection po natin sa tao. Magkasama po ito upang makatiyak na tayo ay maging mabunga sa ating ginagawa. Katulad ng sinabi ko, itingnan po natin ang Mateo 22, 36 at 40, at matutug matatagpuan po natin dito ang pinakadakilang utos sa kautusan, no, at may kasi ito'y tinanong po ng isang disipulo, ano ba ang pinakadakilang utos? So, sumagot ang ating Panginoong Jesus. Nais ko pong basahin po ito sa Mateo. Guro, alin ba ang dakilang utos sa kautusan? At sinabi sa kanya, ibigin mo ang Panginoon mo, Panginoon mong Diyos ng buong puso mo at ng buong kaluluwa mo at ng buong pag-iisip mo. Ito ang dakila at unang utos. At ang pangalawa ay katulad nito, ibigin mo ang iyong kapwa nagaya ng iyong sarili sa dalawang utos na ito nakasalig ang buong kautusan at ang propeta nung sumagot po si Jesus dalawang bahagi ang kanyang sagot pag-ibig sa Diyos at pag-ibig sa kapwa bakit dalawa pinaka nga eh, ang pinakamahalaga dahil sa dalawang utos na ito nakaangkla o nakasalig ang buong kautusan this too is the basic or foundational component of how we can please God and obey the law. Ibig sabihin, hindi pwedeng ihiwalay ang tamang relasyon natin sa Diyos at ang pag-uugnay natin sa kapwa. Nais ko ngayon, anyayahan kayo na makipagbukas. Let's open our Bibles to John chapter 15, verse 1 to 17 and we are going to look at and ex try to explain how this works practically. In verse 1, we find matatagpuan natin na si Jesus lang ang tunay na puno ng ubas at ang ama ang tagapag-alaga. There is no other true vine but the Lord Jesus Christ. There are many who claim to be the vine that we need to connect to. Meron pa nga yung kadadabaw, meron pong mga lumalabas pong mga kulto po ngayon, but it's very clear that you know the father is the is the tender of the garden but Jesus is the true vine we need to connect to the true vine. So in verse 2, Jesus expects fruit. And so, if you do not bear fruit, kung hindi ka po nagbubunga, ikaw ay pinuputol. At ang bawat sa ngalaman na nagbubunga, sabi po sa Tagalog, nililinis. Sa English po, pinuprun. Upang lalo pang magbunga ng marami. So when you're going through, when you're okay, when you're bearing fruit, it doesn't mean that you're, ex you're exempted from trials and pruning. Because God loves you so much and He wants you to be more fruitful, hinahayaan ng Diyos na ikaw pa eh, maputulan pa ng konti, mapurun pa ng konti, hindi po ito yung, yung, yung prutas na dried prunes. Ang ibig sabihin po nito, na ikaw ay pinuputulan para lalo pang maging mabunga ang iyong buhay. So, ang sikreto ng mabungang buhay ay 
kailangan pong konektado tayo sa pinakapuno. Maliwanag po, binag-usapan po natin yun. Ano? Manatili, sabi po ng talata, sa akin at ako'y mananatili sa iyo. Ang sanga ay hindi makakapamunga sa kanyang sariling maliba. Malibang ito ay mananatili sa puno ng ubas. Maging kayo man ay hindi makakapamunga malibang manatili sa akin. Meron akala ang, akala ang mga tao na kung konektado lang sila ng linggo, sapat na yun. Sisimba ng linggo naman ako, konektado na ako sa Diyos. Ang problema po, eh, hindi po natin naunawaan ng pagiging konektado. Ang konektado po sa Diyos po, sa special lang ng okasyon, no? nakikita lang natin ang Diyos, naalala lang natin ang Diyos sa Holy Week, sa Christmas, sa kasal, sa dedication. Hindi po, ibig sabihin po, konektado ka sa Panginoon. Mariwanag po, it's very clear in the passage of scripture sa Tagalog sinabing ganun manatili kayo sa aking lagi in the NIV in verse 4 the word manatili is the word remain and in the NIV this word remain is used four times so ang kulit-kulit remain is a word that gives a picture of permanence stability and endurance at kung hindi ka mananatili sa pinakapuno no kung hindi ka manatili part-time ka sa kanakita ng sanga part-time lang paggabi umuwi ng bahay tapos sa pag-umaga gigising kukolekta na naman doon sa puno wala pong ganun mamamatay po yun no at hindi po magbubunga yun kung hindi ka mananatili at hindi ako mananatili sa pinakapuno if I do not connect to the vine you know what verse 6 says we are thrown into the fire You know, sabi po, if you do not remain in me and you are like a branch that is thrown away and withers, such branches are picked up and thrown into the fire. This is a picture. I don't want to scare you. But if you are not connected to Jesus Christ, you know, we cannot connect to Jesus Christ simply because we are religious or we follow traditions. We are connected to Christ because we have a personal relationship with Him. Do you have a personal relationship with the Lord Jesus Christ? Have you surrendered your life to Him? If not, this is the time. This is not an accident. You need to be connected to Jesus Christ by surrendering your life to Jesus Christ. Ephesians chapter 2 verse 8 and 9 you know, tells us that uh, we can only have a relationship with Him, not by works, not by good works, not by who we are, no? Because we might boast we can have a personal relationship with the Lord Jesus Christ because of grace. For by grace, I we save through faith, not of ourself, not of our works, lest any man should boast. So important that you are connected to Jesus Christ. He died on the cross. He did everything. You do not have to do anything to be saved. You only need to accept the Lord Jesus Christ. But after you have you have been saved, salvation is grace that is given to us. But after that, hindi naman pwede, wala kang gagawin. There should be fruit. And the only way that we can bear fruit is not that we just pray once and then we detach to the vine. We need to continue to be connected to the Lord Jesus Christ. Maliwanag po ba yun? No? Amen. Amen. What does it mean to remain in Christ? Ano, kasi ilang beses ginamit po yung remain. Makulit. What does it mean na manatili? Anong ibig sabihin po to, nito? That we remain in Christ. There are three things that I would like to explain to you today. No. First of all, remaining in Christ means remaining in His Word in verse 7. This is uh, what it says in verse 7. If you remain in me and my words remain in you, ask whatever you wish and it will be done unto you. Napakalinaw po, God's Word needs to be remain in us in order for us to remain in Christ. And so, when you have accepted the Lord Jesus Christ, hindi po pwede pong hindi ka magbabasa ng Biblia. Hindi ka kailangan, hindi pwede pong hindi ka aaten po ng small group na manourish. Ang baby po pag naisilang, hindi po kagad po okay po yan. Kailangan po magatas po yan. Magsisimula ka po medyo milk po muna at habang tumatagal gulay at 
tapos karne. But we need to remain in His words. You know, start reading the Gospels. Start, you know, one verse, two verses. Pag may nagsabi siya, nagbabasa ako ng one chapter. Woo! Huwag mo mo lang, kali- ano, pakinggan yun. Whatever works for you, read. Just continue to read and feed your spirit by reading the Word of God. So how, you know, what does it mean to remaining in Christ? Remaining in His Word. Next, no? Remaining in Christ also means obeying His command. Verse 10. Maliwanag po yung sinabi po dun sa verse 10. Sabi po ganun, no? If you keep my commands, you will remain in my love. Just I have kept my Father's commands and remain in, in His love. And so remaining in Christ means obeying His command. There is a difference between allowing God's Word to remain in you, but then not obeying. Meron di ba, lagi ko lang illustration, ano, may mga bata po, pag inutusan ng magulang, alam po nila yung inutos ng magulang. Oy, magugas ka ng plato. Oy, linisan mong yung kwarto. Pero hanggang hindi sumusunod, alam lang nila ang salita ng nanay, ng tatay, ng, ng boss, ng, ng, ng uh, kaibigan. Pero hanggang hindi mo sinusunod, hanggang hindi mo ginagawa, parang reseta yan eh. Pwede kang resetahan ng iyong doktor, at yung doktor, yung kanyang salita, remain in your wallet, but unless you do not follow what he said, mag-exercise, mag-diet, inumin ng regular ang gamot, not obeying will not help you. Bakit kailangan sumunod tayo sa kanyang utos? Why do we need to obey God's commands? Number one, because obedience produces effective prayers according to verse 7. If you obey in the Lord, to the, uh, you obey the Lord Jesus Christ, you know, your prayers will be very effective. Sabi pong ganun, if you remain in me and my words remain in you, ask whatever you wish and it will be done for you. No, one key to a fruitful prayer life is a fruitful obedient life. So remember that. Number two, no, na kailangan po natin yung manawaan. Why do we need to obey? Because obedience gives glory to the Father. That is in verse 8. It says, no, this is to my Father's glory. My Father's glory, not your glory. It's not the church glory. So when we obey, it's not because we want to glorify the church. It's because we want to give the Father glory that you bear much fruit. So when you bear fruit, it's because we want to give glory to God. It's not to glor- it's not to to make yourself known. Nang galing galing mo. No, it's to give the Father glory. Amen. O may naman kayo dyan. Next, no, why do we need to obey? Because obedience is evidence that we are Jesus' disciples. There's no other way. Hindi po pwede po na, na tayo po eh, alam lang natin ang kanyang salita. Kailangan rin po tayo sumunod sa kanyang utos. Hindi lamang po alam ang utos. Marami po na pumapasok po sa theological college. Marami pong may doctorate, may masteral, pero hindi po marunong sumunod sa kanyang utos. Naandito lang. But you know what? Obedience is the evidence that proves that we are followers or disciples of the Lord Jesus Christ according to verse 8. Sabi ganun, that you bear much fruit showing yourselves to be my disciples. Remaining in Christ means remaining in His Word, then obeying His commands, and lastly, also obeying no, or loving people. You know, it's so important that remaining in Christ is not just remaining in His Word, obey, obeying His commands, pero ito na. It's not just the horizontal relationship with God. So important that the vertical, no, no, the vertical relationship is important. That is the Lord. But the horizontal, that is with other people, is also there. It's also established. Kaya nga, remaining in Christ means loving others. Verse 12. No? Ito po ang sabi po sa verse 12. 12. My command is this. Each uh, uh, Love each other as I have loved you. Wow. Utos po ng Diyos na magmahalan tayo sa bawat isa. 
Why do we need to love each other? There are three things why in the text we find why we need to love each other. First of all, we need to love each other because He chose us. Verse 16 is very clear. When He said, You did not choose me, but I chose you and appointed you so that you might go and bear much fruit. Wow! Because, you know, God wants us to actually show that in our lives because we were chosen. Second, because He made us His friend. Verse 14 to 15. Ito po, maliwanag po ang sinabi po. Medyo mahaba. So, shortcutting ko lang. Just going to read verse 14. You are my friends if you do what I command. I no longer call you servants because a servant does not know his master's business. Instead, I have called you friends. The reason why we need to do this to love other people because you are Jesus' friend. I realize that people who knock on your door and they're a stranger, you will not lend them your, your car. You will not lend them your your shoes or yung damit. No, nung bata ako, nangihiram ako ng damit eh, sa uncle ko o sa aking, ano, uh, sa aking daddy para pumorma kay na death nun. No? But you know what? Napapahirap naman ako. Alam mo bakit? Kasi may relasyon ako, kilala ko sila. But if someone knocks on the door at hindi mo kilala, mahirap po kahit siguro sa pumpi so, mag-aalangan ka pa. Why? Because they're not your friends. He is not he is not related to you. It's easy to love other people because the one who is asking you is a friend. Jesus is our friend. Last reason why we need to love other people. Here it is. No, sabi pong ganun, we need to love other people, not just the vertical Jesus, but other people, other people, hindi lang because He chose us, hindi lamang po because He, he is our friend, but sa huli, kung ayaw mong makinig dahil pinili ka, ayaw mong makinig magmahal sa iba dahil kaibigan ka niya, ito dapat, sumunod ka na, because it's a command. He commands us. Verse 17. This is how it reads, it verse 17. This is my command, my command, not a request, love each other. Maliwanag na umaasa si Jesus ng bunga sa bawat isa sa atin. No? And so, as we enter a new uh, year, for living epistle as a church and we're coming and we want to come out victorious you know i want to see each and every one of you god wants to see me as well to be fruitful god oh, jesus christ expects fruitfulness in each and every one of us ang bawat sanga na nasa akin sabi ng panginoon every branch that is connected to um the vine that does not bear fruit is cut off. But anyone who's connected to the vine but is fruitful will be trimmed, will be cut, will be cleaned so that they become more fruitful. The secret of a fruitful life is that we need to be connected with the Lord Jesus Christ, God. Konektado tayo kay Jesus sa kanyang salita. Konektado tayo kay Jesus sa pagsunod sa kanyang utos. At konektado tayo sa Diyos sa pamagitan ng pagmamahal sa ating kapatiran. Now listen to me. Ito na, seryoso na. Maaring ginagawa mo yung unang dalawa. No? God's word is in you. And you are obeying His commands. But if you are not loving your brethren, hindi mo minamahal at hindi ka konektado sa iyong kapatiran, no? Uh, hindi mo sila iniibig. Hindi mo pa rin nabubuo ang kalooban ng Diyos. Hindi aksidente itong pag-uusap natin, no? God chose you. Tao sa, sa, tao sa loob mo, nagawin ang pag-ibig sa kapwa dahil, alam mo, 
madali gawin yun dahil kaibigan tayo ni Jesus. At dahil naisuko na natin ang ating buhay sa Panginoon, madaling sumunod sa kanyang utos. Nawa, maging maliwanag ang koneksyon mo, maling, maging maliwanag ang koneksyon ko sa Diyos, at hindi lamang po yun. Maging maliwanag ang koneksyon ko sa Diyos sa pamagitan ng maliwanag na koneksyon sa bawat isa. Lalo na sa mga kapatiran sa simbahan. Merong isang lalaki na umuwi sa kanyang pamilya. He's successful, uh, lahat ay nasa kanya, lahat ng layaw, may gym po siya, may sports car po siya, sikat pa po siya, he was famous, and he was secure. And then he can retire, and then all of his needs is going to be met because he's got a big, fat bank account. But as he drives into his mansion, when he's driving, the electronic gate opens, the security guard gives him a salute. He enters a mansion. It's a big house. But it's not a home. L.E., listen to me. I would like this coming anniversary that we really, truly come out victorious. That you're successful in your business, that you're successful in your family, no, that your careers are, are going up, and that you get promoted, you get a big fat bank account. But we as a family, as a church, if the church is just a house and it's not a home, it's because we do not love each other. We're not successful. We need to come out loving each other as well. My prayer is today that we be fruitful. But fruitfulness requires two things. We have a solid connection vertically to heaven, to Jesus Christ. And then we have a horizontal, solid connection with people around us. You know what? Ulitin ko dalawa po yun. You might be a, a person who's got a lot of friends. But if you do not have a solid connection with the Father, it doesn't cut it. It doesn't really work. And so both is needed. You cannot buy God. You cannot buy that relationship. It's only when you surrender your life to the Lord Jesus Christ that makes our vertical connection to God happen. Brothers and sisters, you might be spiritual. You know all the verses and you can quote and you've been on missions, but if your horizontal connection with other people is marred, it's a little bit hazy and malabo. Hindi maganda. Marang nang sasabi, hindi bale, basta malapit ako sa Diyos. No. So important that both is clear and solid and established. We need to be connected with God and we need to be connected with other people. And so today, as a church, or you're watching and you're not a member of the church, so important today that we have both. But we can only have a pure and solid connection with others when we start having a good connection with God. Maybe you're proud of your connection with God. You know, you know, God's word is in you and you're obeying his word. But kulang po yon if you don't have love for others. It is Jesus' command. Lord, I pray we want to come out victorious. But Lord God, we do not want to have a church that is without love. Lord, we know that you have carried us through this pandemic and we have come out stronger, better. Lord God, we have, we have come out, Lord God, steadfast. But Lord, if we want to come out victorious, Lord, it starts with the foundation loving each other. Lord, we want to come out of all of this victorious but together. United. Is your heart truly filled with joy? I am the true vine. You are the branches. Apart from me, you can do nothing. If you are looking for happiness, for true joy that does not depend on circumstances, 
you need to look to Jesus because he wants to give you his joy. And not only does he want to give you joy, but God, the creator of the universe, Jesus, who resurrected from the dead, wants your joy to be complete. Abide in him and he will abide in you. And from our true vine, you will bear fruit in abundance. and sisters, 
today. Be a part. Let's level up.